Alrighty guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are doing a New Orleans Pelicans, um, new look New Orleans Pelicans rebuild. So with the New Orleans Pelicans did, they didn't do too much or change like at all. The only like main thing they did was go ahead and sign, um, I mean draft Jordan Hawkins. They also went ahead and like, um, I think they, yeah, they went ahead and signed Cody Zeller. I think they only did like two things. I believe they still have a mid-level. I'm not quite sure though. So today we will be doing a New Orleans Pelicans new look. So today we will be doing a New Orleans Pelican. Uh, so today we will be doing a new look New Orleans Pelicans rebuild. So the Pelicans didn't really do much. All, all they did was really sign Cody Zeller. They also went ahead and re-sign like Floyd and Gomez and like sign I and mean, draft Jordan Hawkins. Well, only thing they really did. So uh, obviously they didn't change up their team too much. But if you look at the rotation right now, it's CJ McCollum and they went ahead and re-signed Herbert Jones. So that's something else, I guess. We got Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, Jonas Valanciunas, Stray Murphy, Larry Nance, Jose Alvarado, Dyson Daniels, and Larry and Gomez. Um. I don't want to play um two centers off the bench. I want to give like minutes to, like either Najee Marshall or Jordan Hawkins. I think I'm gonna give it to Jordan Hawkins once again. We got Herbert Jones. I mean he can always come off the bench, but um I do want to develop Jordan Hawkins as much as possible since we drafted him at pick 15, I believe so, or for 14. So yeah, he was a lottery pick. So I want to develop as much as possible, and then with that leaves Najee Marshall, Cody Zeller, Hurt and Gomez. That's not the rotation, which these guys can very well get minutes. They're good rotational players so um i'm just gonna simulate the whole season here i don't plan on stopping at the trade deadline but if we're bad i'll uh... so at the end of the season here we did make the playoffs of the third seed so i didn't have to stop at the deadline we got to play the phoenix Suns. so the suns you know bradley bill Devin booker you know josh jacoby kevin durant you know they got better definitely Heading into our players, we got 21 from Ingram, 20 from Zion, fully healthy, which is great, um, around 16 from Trey Murphy, and I think Trey Murphy is a very good player off the bench to have on your team, very good shooter and everything. 14 from CJ McCollum, I don't know if I'll be keeping him throughout the video, though, because he does progress down, like, heavily, and yeah, I don't know if I want to have him on our team, he's kind of, yeah, he just doesn't really do that good in 2K. 10 from Jonas Valanciunas, 9 and a half from Herbert Jones, 8 from Dyson Daniels, 10 from Jose Alvarado, 6 from Larry Nance, and 5 from Jordan Hawkins. And against the Phoenix Suns, we are going to win in 6. Now we got the Los Angeles Lakers, so got D'Lo, Reeves, LeBron, Vanderbilt, AD, Gabe, Vincent, Cameron Reddish, Rhea Chimora, Jackson A, Torian Prince. And yeah, their depth is there like it really is. But let's see what happens here against Los Angeles. They take game 1, and they are going to beat us in 5. So the Lakers beat us here, um, which is not really great. They go on, I mean, actually they lose to the Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young is in front of MVP, so we lose lose by the uh, LA Lakers in the second round, which is not a great sign. LeBron does retire. I cannot override him, though, so that's good. So heading into the draft ladder here, I think we have a first round pick in the draft, so a number of players retire, which is great. So, um, and we do not have a lottery pick. We should have, actually, we're projected pick four in the draft. I think that's actually our pick. And let's see what pick we get, and we end up getting pick four in the draft. So we can add a pretty good rookie to this team here, but do we need it, or do we necessarily do we want to trade the pick? So if you look at the mock drafts here, we are projected to just go ahead and draft Justin Edwards here. Which could be smart in ways if we want to move Brandon Ingram, which I want to actually keep behind for this video. I want to keep behind Zion um, throughout this whole video as well. If we can keep Herbert Jones, that would be nice too. We just signed him to an extension. The one player that I would say that would be expendable at the moment is like CJ McCollum. So let's say if we move like CJ McCollum, let's say it's probably like, um, you know, have to get on the trade. Then um, pick four in the draft. What can we get, honestly? So, um, yeah, I'm not, I mean, we can get De'Aaron Fox. But I, I want to stay at least a little bit realistic here. Jamal Murray, the he's probably like an untouchable on the Nets. I mean the um the the the. So we got pick four in the draft this year, which we want to actually keep this pick or trade it. I mean, I definitely think we could explore trading the pick. So pick four, who can we get? I mean, I'm not really liking any of these deals or these offers here. Jamal Murray would be like an untouchable. So I mean, um, I mean, yeah, I'm not really liking any of these deals to be honest with you. So um, I might just go ahead and draft here. Maybe we can get a decent point guard on the draft. Who knows? This team is still young. I want to ha have this team still young because they are a very young team. And I 
don't know if CJ really would fit that that timeline really. So we're projecting the draft Justin Edwards here, which is a very nice selection. Which um I mean who can we get if we necessarily trade the number four overall pick? I don't want Drew Holiday, I don't want Alonso. I mean, it's not really good point guard options right now that would be like realistic. So I mean if we just go ahead and draft here, call in Sexton someone we can get. De'Aaron Fox, like I don't know if these guys would be like realistic really. So I'm just gonna go on draft here, I guess. So pick four in the draft. Number one, we got Isaiah Cole. I would have loved him, but I guess we get, we can get E.J. Wagner. Number two, Ron Holland. Number three, Cody Williams, which means we could get E.J. Wagner here, or we can draft Matt Buzelis, which um, either Matt Buzelis, Justin Edwards, Zachary, E.J. Wagner. Um, what do we need the most? So, obviously, a point guard is number one. I'm going to explore, like, our shooting guard position, I do not want to move. Our small forward, we can sound like a backup forward, but I don't know if that will, like, um, yeah, I don't want to, like, we can move Trey Murphy there, sign a power forward, or we can sign a center, but I'm looking to go ahead and just bring in DJ Wagner here. He, he can be an immediate impact for this team. So, DJ Wagner, welcome to the team. He'll most likely be our new point guard, which means, which means that will make CJ McCollum a lot more expendable here, maybe at the trigger deadline, who knows. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and draft the center here, so I'm gonna draft Kyle and not be my draft here. So, I'm gonna accept the both of these guys, DJ Wagner, Kyle, and then Terrence, I'm gonna accept, as well as AJ Mitch. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him on a two-way, I don't know if he can, but, because he was a late second-round pick. So, we're just gonna sign three of these guys. Trey Murphy, we're gonna accept. Jose Alvarado, as well as Dyson Daniels, I want those guys to be back on our team. If Kyron Lewis is a free agent, I, I wanna be too concerned about him, but I love to bring him back. So, got Hurt and Gomez, Najee Marshall, and other free agents that we have to worry about. I don't think I'll be bringing back Najee Marshall here. I want to find a better back small four. We can always move like Dyson Nails there because he is 6'7", six, six, but um, who knows. So, Dyson Nails, we could move into the small forward if we want to like develop Jordan Hawkins more, which I might actually do that here since he's 6'7", but let's just see the options. So, Deshaun Pay, Reddish, Lonnie Walker, Aaron E. Smith. We can always bring back Najee Marshall though, which we don't the bird rights to him. I'll just move with Dyson Daniels to the three because um he actually does. Um, I'm pretty sure he goes up and he goes to an 80. So I'll move him at the three. He goes up to an 80 overall. So it'll be Jose Alvarado um as our bench. And I feel like our team is fine. We have to. Uh, I would love to bring back Jonas Valanciunas, but since we don't have the rights to him, which we should, I'm gonna bring back Valanciunas though. Cause I actually um yeah I'm not, I'm not gonna move him, but I'm gonna resign though. So Jonas Valanciunas. We'll come back to the team. I'm going to bring you back for sure. Um, he'll be our starting center because I'm not starting Larry Nance, he, and he's not really the tallest center. So, um, you know, Jonas Valanciunas will come back to the team. So, I feel like that's all we really need right now because um, we got a rotation here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and skip the player rush. I'm not going to be bringing back any of the other guys back. And then, Carl Lewis is back from his qualifying offer. Zion is up. B.I. is up. Herbert Jones is up. Trey Murphy is up. C.J. McCollum is down, obviously. Dyson, Dyson Daniels is go up three. As we move in the small forward, Jose Alvarado is up, Larry Nance is up, Jordan Hawkins is up, Isha Wagner, we got Carl Lewis is up too, so he can actually crack the rotation as well. He went up two overalls, that's very, it's very good here. Then, uh, Saborn is up, so I'll see you guys at the beginning of the season to go through our rotation. With the rotation being CJ McCollum, Herbert Jones, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, you know what's Tuna, Shrey Murphy, Dyson Daniels, Larry Nance, Jose, Jose Alvarado, DJ Wagner. Um, I would love to give Jordan Hawkins some minutes, so I might kick Jose Alvarado out of the rotation, which I'm going to feel bad about, though, because he's actually really, really good. So, I might stop at the trade deadline and open, like, to trade CJ McCollum, because we definitely need to stop at the trade deadline. But if it's just going good, we're just going to keep it here. Once again, I would love to give Jordan Hawkins some more minutes, as well as Carol Lewis eventually. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put DJ Widener ahead of um, Jose Alvarado in the rotation so we can get more minutes. So, I'll stop at the trade deadline and try and trade CJ McCollum. So I couldn't stop at the trade deadline because there were no really good offers for, you know, CJ McCollum because no one could really take on his salary. So we got to play Portland. They got Scoot Anderson, Anthony Simon, Shane Sharp, Jeremy Grant, Yusuf Nurkic, and Damian Lillard coming off the bench for them, which is kind of weird. But going into our players, so we got 21 from Zion, 18 from Ingram, 15 from Trey Murphy, 14 from CJ McCollum, and 11 from Dyson Daniels. I feel like if we trade CJ McCollum, that would open up more scoring for all of these guys down here, which I really want to do um, in the offseason where 100% 
percent doing it. So against the Portland Trailblazers, we do win in six. So we're in the second round. Got to play the seven seed, never nugget. So Jamal Murray, KCP, MPJ, Ian Gordon, Nicole Jokic, Jalen Noel, Zeke Naji, Christian Brown. Honestly, a pretty decent team in Denver. But can we go ahead and win though? And we're up three one, and we do end up being the Nuggets. We're in the conference finals. Got to play Utah. I got Colin Sexton, Justin Edwards, Lori Markin, and Miles Bridges, Walker. Kessler, Abaji, John Collins, Clarkson. So this might be where we lose, but you never know here. So here we go. Game one, we take, which is great. Uh, 22 from Trey Murphy. Game two, they tie up 20 from Sexton. Game two. All right, I'm in game three. It takes a 2-1 lead. Take the 3-1 lead, and we're going to wait. We still have a chance. Can we force a game seven here back in New Orleans? That would be great. So um, let's see what happens. And we're, we are going to come out hot, but it's not over yet. They can still always come back. We do force a game seven. 23 from Zion. Zion has really putting, like, um, kind of lackluster numbers here. But here we go. Let's see what happens. Two game sevens. Um, let's see what happens. All right, so can we go ahead and pull it off here? That would be great if we can go to the NBA Finals. I'll uh, have more momentum going into the next season. And, yeah, I think we're going to lose in seven. So we lose by the Utah Jazz. They go to the Finals. At least we made it close this year, um, which is a great sign. So if we trade McCollum, get off of his contract, that will be – that will come in big here. But going into the draft, we're going to see what pick we have. And we have pick – um. Got the number one overall pick. Wait, do we? Do? All right, so this can make this even better here. So, so now we got the number one overall pick from Milwaukee, um, which is kind of insane. So now we gotta figure out what we honestly need to do here. So, um, like, all right, um, like I want to trade my column, but we got the number one overall pick, bro. So I mean, I mean, I got one plan in mind what we can do, but I think it's kind of an overpay. I'm just gonna see what we can get from McCollum in the first round pick. What are you offering me? And let's see, Zach Levine, Porzingis, Porzingis, and Robert Williams. I don't want Rob though. We have to give up a Zion. It's never around. I'm not doing that. Um, why, why do people want Zion? De'Aaron Fox, Austin Reeves, Mikael Fox, Mikael Bridges. He's interesting. We got MPJ. We got Clay Thompson. Would you know be Malik Monk in the eighth pick? Um, Pascal Siakam, Ken Kellen Johnson, Bradley Beal in the first. Lou Dort in pick two. Um, we can get off. I mean, no, I don't want to do that. So. First thing we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and trade CJ McCollum for like a couple first round picks or two because I think we need to get off his contract right now. So let's just say the Spurs might want him to get a nice veteran in there. I'm um, in their locker room here just for one first round pick. Honestly, I want to do this is three star value. So we get off and they don't agree. All right, Tom. Um, okay. I don't know why I don't agree to that because they really just offered me the exact same thing. But um, let's just say it's this 227 first round pick instead. They agree. We get off of McCollum and we um, have opened up more minutes for DJ Wagner. So I'm going to try and dealt the number one overall pick, which is kind of crazy, but I don't know if we really need the number one overall pick. So I want to trade him for like an elite, elite superstar here, like specifically a center. So if you look at them, Joel Embiid, they won't be willing to give up. Like Joel Embiid and Jokic are off, off the mark. We're not being able to get him. Vooch is um, kind of an overpay, you know, like uh, Anthony Davis, you know, I would love to have AD on our team. But it wouldn't make sense at all because he requested a trade from us. Don't see why I would love to come back. Click Capella, Bam out of bio we could get. I mean, I mean, like I'm wanting an elite guy. And I got one player in mind that we can get. I mean, we could try and go after Yoko. I probably won't be on this. So I want to get the Minnesota Marlowe's Carl Anthony Towns. Not even overall right now. On a pretty big contract. But I feel like if we get Cal on our team, I feel like he would be just the best big for um next to Zion. So I'm, I'll, I'll be wanting to trade number overall pick for Carl Anthony Town straight up see what they say they don't agree to it which means we might have to throw Joe Val in there which he would actually be a pretty decent backup center I'll be willing to throw Jonas Valentinus in there I mean that doesn't really make it better they don't agree I'll offer you um Kyle I mean uh, I mean, we're gonna resign Larry Nance. I mean, although you Kyle in there as well, they still don't agree. Um, let's just say it's like, like 
Terrence or Kitty Agano or something like that. They still don't agree. Why is this? Why, why are they so low value to them? It's kind of weird. Um, let's just say we had a couple first round picks. We're adding pick 23 in there. Uh, 228 first round pick. Also at 229 first round pick as well. We still can't get it to go through. Let's just say we don't add Joe Val in there. I would make it worse. But um, like who who can we throw at them? That they would really want. I'll offer one more first round pick, but that will be my limit probably. They still don't agree. So I've been looking for trades for like a very, very long time, and the best I could find was Bam out of bio. The Minnesota Timberwolves were, were not willing to give up Carl Anthony Town, which I really would have loved him to be the perfect big next to Zion, but I'll be okay sitting with Bam out of bio, you know, very good score, rebounder, and defender. If we can get Bam on this team, that would be great. It'll officially, we can maybe win a championship, so I'll be going to offer them one overall pick for Bam out of bio. So Yovel and Bam... Okay, we do agree. So we trade them one over our pick for Bam with a bio, which I feel like that's a fair deal, honestly. We get a very, very talented center to pair with Zion and Ingram in the squad. So, and we'll start EJ Widener this year, which I'm actually completely fine with here, even though it would be okay, you know, getting a more veteran one. But we get Bam. I just didn't want to get them one over our pick because we, we had no, yeah, we literally had no use for it. So, let's see who the, um, who got him again. So, the Heat go ahead and draft the center to replace him, which is kind of smart to be honest, but at pick 23, we got Nasir Cuttingham on the board, which, give me Nasir Cuttingham, bro, I can't believe you fell this far, wow, all right, and that'll be my draft, so Nasir Cuttingham, welcome to the team, 75 overall with a steal, Nathan Daniels and Jordan Hawkins, I'm accepting them, qualifying offers, Trey Murphy, definitely, I would love to bring him back on, like, a very huge contract, because he's really good for us, B.I. is a free agent, first thing we're doing is we, we, we are re-signing Brandon Ingram to a nice contract, so Brandon Ingram, welcome back to the team, a hundred times, and then, um, Jose Alvarado, I do want back, and I don't know if, I don't know about Caron Lewis, I don't know who would be better, but Jose Alvarado is cheap, or something, you want to bring that Jose Alvarado on, like, a nice seven million dollars, something like this, something like that, and then Trey Murphy, I'm gonna wait till his qualifying offers over in the Larry Nance, um, we'll see after my Torrent, so I'm not renouncing Larry Nance at all. I'm just, I'm just gonna bring back Beyond Jose Alvarado, so they're back. And then Larry Nance, I am gonna sign, but if there's better options, if we got money this offseason from trading away, um. CJ McCollum, so we got Brooke. I mean, I'm looking for back center, not starting. So Nas Reed. Nas Reed would be a very good addition to this team, but once again, I feel Larry Nance is the best. That best fit for this team, and he's a lot cheaper than all the guys. I don't, I don't want to be hard caps. But Larry Nance, we want to bring him back on like a nice. Um, let's say it's a one plus one with a team option. Let's and let's say it's five million. All right, so Larry Nance is back on the team, which is great. Then Trey Murphy, I'll be wanting to bring him back. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna bring back Larry Nance. I'm not gonna announce him. So Larry Nance is back, and then um, Trey Murphy gonna wait till his qualifying offer is over. So we brung back our guys, brought back the core. Trey Murphy, I'm resigning. I feel like um. His value would be up high, so I'm gonna give him about 22 million. I, f I feel like he deserves it. Or I mean, we can give him like 21 million. Let's say it's 21 million for four years. Welcome back to the team, Trey Murphy. Give him an absolute bag, 94, and then honestly, that'll be my last move. I don't have interest in bringing back Caron Lewis because we our point guard rotation is fine. DJ Wyden will be up, um, hopefully higher than Herbert Jones, Brandon Ingram, Zion. So I like our team right now. Um, let's skip to player progression and see how it's looking. Zion is up, Ingram, Dyson Daniels is up three overall. He'll most likely be our sixth man this year, which I love. Or, I mean, Trey Murphy, you can't go wrong with him, so I mean, Dyson Daniels is up, Herbert Jones, DJ Widener is up five to an 82, so almost higher than Herbert Jones. Trey Murphy hasn't developed at all, which is kind of sad. Um, Jordan Hawkins is up, and then Kyle is up, as well as Terrence Rockniagam. So Kyle might actually crack the rotation as well. I'll see you guys at the beginning of the season to go to the rotation once again. So it's DJ Wagner, Herbert Jones, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, Bam on a bio. This is a very good starting five all around. The defense, the scoring, and everything. Got Dyson Daniels off the bench. I'm actually going to move Trey Murphy to our six man. Hopefully he can develop, and I'm actually going to do some player mentors if we can. Larry Nance is up, Jose Alvarado, Jordan Hawkins. I feel this is a very good rotation. Mm -hmm.
DJ Wagner does win your most improved player, averaging 14 and a half, two rebounds, seven assists, and one and a half steals, which is great to see. So this year we were the number one seed. We ended up being very, very good actually after uh, those good trades. So 21 from Zion, 18 for Brandon Ingram, 14 and a half from DJ Wagner, 13 from Bam, 13 from Trey Murphy, 12 from Dyson Daniels, seven and a half from Herbert Jones, six from Jordan Hawkins, six from Larry Nance, six from Jose Alvarado, and four from this year Cunningham. So and we got to play Sacramento. So the Kings, De'Aaron Fox, Kevin Herter, Cody Williams, Keegan Murray, Jalen Dern, Christian Wood, we got Terrence Mann, Malik Beasley, Utah Watanabe, Harrison Barnes. So, decent team. Let's see what happens. We are going to go to a game seven, and we're going to win the game seven. So now we got Utah, Davion Mitchell, Justin Edwards, Miles Bridges, John Collins, Yankee Kongu, Walker Kessler. A lot of centers on this team. Um, I don't think that's a really good fit starting, you know, Miles Bridges, John Collins, and Kongu in the same lineup, but it's a pretty tall lineup as well as Justin Edwards being 6'7". Um, it's kind of a scary tall lineup. I think we need to adjust our rotation for this. So, I mean, okay, so Herbert Jones is 6'7". B.I. Okay, our rotation is fine. I mean, we can make it even bigger by not moving Zion to the 3. I mean, let's try it. Let's try it for one game or a couple of games. But if it doesn't work, we'll go ahead and move it. So, I mean, you know, we can put Trey Murphy in the rotation. Like, if this doesn't work, I'll immediately, like, back out of it, though. Because, oh, this is a very tall lineup. And we do win with this lineup, which is great. And we win game two. We win game. Okay, we don't win a game three. We do win game five. We're out and uh, we win at five, which is great. So it looks like this lineup is actually kind of good. I didn't expect it to be good, but we, we, it was good. So now we're going to play Houston. They're a playing team. Let's not lose. So KPJ, Jalen Green, Whitmore, Jabari Smith, Alvin Shangoon, Amin Thompson, James Naji, Dylan Brooks, Malik Monk, Malachi Bram, Tari Easton, Jock Lando, Hardy Carter Bryant, Jason, and yeah. All right. So um, let's see. Game one, we take. Game two, game three, and game four, we sweep them. So it looks like the, the new lineup actually paid off. So now we got the Raptors with Isaiah Collier. They got Isaiah Collier, Jalen Suggs, Rudy Big, Scott. Barnes, Yakum Pertle, OG and Anobi, Manuel Quickly, Kevon Looney, Precious Yeshua, Dennis Smith, Mike Muscala, and Ken Burch is back as being a Raptor. So, can we win against the Toronto Raptors? Game one, they take game two. Okay, it's not looking good. All right. I'm going to shrink our rotation here to like a nine minute rotation. I feel like that's fair. They want to go back to our defensive lineup for Herbert Jones. I'm actually going to keep running this lineup for one more game to see how it works. I don't know if, um, yeah, so I'm going to shrink our rotation to a nine minute rotation player nine best player so and we do end up winning can we go ahead and win game four we win game four all right it's tied 2-2 we take the 3-2 lead can we go ahead and win the nba finals here that would be absolutely big we can end this video off of a ring instead of um losing so here we go it's a pretty close game and the raptors gonna force game seven so Got game seven for the championship. This is gonna get this is gonna get really scary here, but let's see what happens. So we come out of the first quarter, active back scoring game, we come out of the first quarter high as well as the second quarter, as well as the third, and it's looking like we are going to win our first championship in New Orleans in like a long time. I don't know if they even won a championship, so we are NBA champions. Finals MVP is Zion Williamson. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Definitely not the best rebuild, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.